Hi, my name is Chris if you didn't already know and welcome to my show Smeg Chris Review. So I've been watching a television show called Race Across the World. It is about five teams of two people such as father and son or best friends who have to make their way from the UK to Singapore without flying. They have their credit cards and debit cards taken away and left with the cash equivalent of a flight to Singapore. They also don't have any mobile phones either, so they have to rely on the kindness of strangers. They can also earn extra money by working in designated jobs in different countries. This is all narrated by John Hanna. Now I don't normally watch these kind of series but I was interested in the setup and eventually those contestants actually started growing on me. The experience was also enriched by the varied countries that they visited. The majority of them were magnificent. I still got the final episode to watch and I do have my favourites but I'm eager to see who wins that £20,000 cash prize. I'm sure the series is still available on BBC iPlayer but I've noticed it's also available on YouTube as well. If you like travel shows, competitions and reality series then I urge you to check this out. They've already announced that there will be another series, I can't wait. Now onto my review of the latest in the long line of Marvel movies, Captain Marvel. Let me start by saying I love the Marvel logo at the beginning. Usually it features all the characters of the Marvel Universe but because of Stan Lee's sad passing this time it features all of just him. I thought it was a beautiful thing to do. So onto the film itself. I hate to say it but I had no idea what was happening at the beginning. At all. It starts off like we're supposed to know all the characters already, we don't. Then they get into a battle that was very difficult to fathom out what was actually happening. In all honesty I thought that first fight was a jumbled mess and I hated it. It improved on the next fight though. That being said the second act was much clearer and I fully enjoyed it. During this time we got to see Verz, as she was called at the beginning, in her element and I loved her personality. Her jovial nature was a treat. Brie Larson wasn't someone I was overly fond of previously, now I think she's awesome. She was perfectly cast. We also get to meet a younger Nick Fury and we have ample time to learn more about him and his origins. We also get to see a younger Phil Coulson which was great. Then as we got into the final act we got to see a different side of the heroine which made me like Brie Larson even more. Like us at the beginning her character doesn't know who she is as she has no memory of her past. When it was revealed it wasn't that profound as we'd already seen glimpses earlier on in the film. As for the plot twist I'd already figured that out five minutes into the film. But of course I won't spoil it here. Her costume was great from the start but it improved in that final act. However, like in the first act, some of the fight scenes were difficult to work out. The big big battle at the end though, that was fantastic. And yes, there are two post film scenes. One was during the end credits which I suspect will be in the next Marvel movie anyway. And one right at the end that didn't really serve a purpose other than to make us chuckle. I was actually expecting to not like this film, I'm glad I was wrong. I give Captain Marvel a... It's just those few fight scenes that let it down a little. That's my review of Captain Marvel and now it's time for me to go. So I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. I don't remember when it was but I went on a bit of a rant about Marvel spoiling things by releasing trailers before a Marvel film's already been out. Like for example at the end of The Last Avengers we saw Nick Fury disappear but we've already had a trailer for the next Spider-Man and Nick Fury's in it. So we know he survived. That's a spoiler Marvel. So if I was to run Marvel, this is what I would do. I'd wait until the next film was being shown and then right at the end, after everybody waits for that last scene, after the all, all the end credits have ended, put a trailer on straight after. Because I bet you know, a lot of people have been stood there watching the last scene and then like, okay. And then as the trailer come on, they'd all just stop and sit straight back down. Like, <gasps> unless like me, I'm bursting for the toilet, I'll just leave. Nothing worse than having a full bladder while you're watching a film at the cinema.